part one of the War Machine build video, I put together the arms, the head, and the upper torso. Now we continue on to the legs and the lower torso. You quit some years ago. Now you're smoking on the porch. Your friends are all now. And that's okay, of course. You stay out every night But you don't tell me what you do it is tough to hold these three parts together and bend the tabs at the same time I normally bend them with my fingers but I had to get a little help from the tweezers nothing sounds good to you when it's time for food You come back from the mall Just like I thought you would You smile when we're out That's not what you want to do But if you tell me that you're fine I believe you This video has been edited down. I have not shown all the different attempts, adjustment, or retries of this build. I also clip out parts where I'm studying the direction, searching for and clipping parts, and some repetitive steps. It may make it look like this kit came together easier than it did, but there is a lot of bending and adjusting of parts to make things fit. Work slowly, be patient, and take your time. I sleep in the living room. Still, if you tell me that you love me. I believe you I might be kind But babe is it art Tomorrow I leave to go fix my heart One little slice, tubes through an artery They take some away But baby, what's left for me? Many of the shapes in this kit are not clearly defined, like parts of the legs, arms, and torso. Shape the parts as best you can, and as you go along attaching other parts, you'll find yourself readjusting and bending things until they fit. The different parts and tabs do a lot to help pull this thing together. Hand me the keys, and if you think I won't do this, then baby. Hide here, someone's at the door. Patience, my love, just a few minutes more. Baby, he's gone. How long were you in there? But if you really love me. You won't care, you won't care, you won't care, you won't care, you won't care. Cause you can come out, it's safe in my arms and it's too cold to go home right now. We'll sneak you out before he wakes up, before anyone sees. Here are the keys, you think I won't do.
Several of the joints in the leg fit together in strange ways. It takes some playing around and adjusting of parts to get many things to fit. There are several tabs that are difficult but not impossible to get to. Several times I bent tabs over instead of twisting them. On page 61, the instructions have you leave a couple of tabs open so you can wrap it around the calf and then close it. I only left one tab open by mistake, but still was able to get the part together. It took a bit of wiggling to get the two parts to sit together. The space here is very tight and there are a couple of bent over tabs that make it a tight fit. I needed a little help from the pick. Because part 66 attaches to a section that is curved and not flat, I bend in the tabs a little to make it fit easier. I twisted the tabs that hold part 65 on when I should have bent them. They were getting in the way of part 67 sitting correctly. With part 66, I left the side open so I can more easily wrap the part around the leg, something I forgot to do on the last leg. It did not seem to help, but actually made it slightly more difficult for me. Instead of trying to twist the tabs, I used the teeth and the clamp to bend them over. Stars outside, they glow for 
The directions also suggest to leave part 69 open until connecting section B, but I found it easier to attach after 69 was closed. It took a fair amount of trial and error to get the tops of these legs into place. Getting the feet connected to the stand was a fight. In the end, I got all but one tab in its slot and connected. I connected the tabs too soon here, so I opened them up again to put the torso inside the waist. I untwisted the first two tabs and bent them over. I use the tip of the pliers to push over the tabs here. 
War Machine kit was a bit more difficult than I expected. Not that I expected it to be easy. I didn't expect it to be as difficult as Iron Man. Now, it's kind of a toss-up. There were some things that seemed to me there were it seemed to me there were more tabs and difficult to reach places. It seemed to me there were more there was more difficulty getting some parts over others. Possibly it was an expectation that it wouldn't be as difficult. There are some similarities between the two kits, but there are a lot of differences as well. So it, at the time at least, seemed like the War Machine was a little bit more difficult than Iron Man, but it's difficult to say. At the same time, I didn't break anything on War Machine. I did break something on Iron Man. But it's on the shelf. It looks great. Glad to have it in my collection as always. I've got one more of the four Marvel kits to build, Thor's Hammer that I will be working on here soon as well as another Star Wars kit. Um, I've got a few more kits on the way, a couple of surprises, one of which is technically not been released yet so I'm excited about that. More work to do. If you have any questions or comments please leave them down below. Thank you for watching and keep on keeping on.